Medical professionals of Reddit, exactly how accurate are TV shows like Scrubs and Grey's Anatomy? My mom is a medical professional. She used to ruin house for me because she'd always guess the correct diagnosis within 10 minutes of the show starting. According to her, they are relatively accurate in that all of the diseases fit the symptoms, but the decisions, original diagnosis, and overall incompetency of the TV doctors is very unrealistic. I would assume that this is mainly because there's a lot of drama in a weekly OMG this patient has symptoms that I've never seen before whatever could his disease be and not a lot of drama in the way the medical field really works. Apparently TV doctors are about a zillion times younger and more attractive than real life doctors. So there's that as well. Third year medical student who is in the clinical part of the curriculum. I would say the first season of Scrubs is fairly accurate. I only watched the first half of the first season. 1. The cool doctor who you aspire to be like but that isn't always nice. 2. The douchy doctor from another era of medicine. 3. The long hours. 4. The leaving a shift and feeling dumb. Feeling worthless. Feeling like crap. 5. The rare moment where a patient actually thanks you. Where you feel like you did a good job. The moment when you are happy that you are in medicine. I know Scrubs has a reputation for being quite medically accurate. One criticism I've heard of Grey's Anatomy and similar shows, is that the events that transpire every week at Seattle Grace are the kind of things a doctor would face once or twice in their whole career. Like one week there'll be a fairy disaster, then the next week there'll be a bomb in the hospital, while someone else is performing a radical surgery that's never been attempted before, and another doctor is stealing a baby. Dad's a doctor, mom's a NNP, I'm in nursing school, but I'll talk about their thoughts. My parents hated it but sometimes enjoyed watching it for a laugh. They dislike Grey's because no resident has enough time for all that freaking drama and the cases they work on are insane and very rare. Sometimes they'll watch House as a kind of brain teaser but they usually figure it out pretty quickly and don't care for how much of an arse he is. To say nothing of procedural and ethical errors. They freaking loved Scrubs though. It was pretty accurate and did a good job of portraying trying to survive as a new doc, getting confused by diagnosis, and navigating the interpersonal challenges of a patient-doctor relationship. It resonated a lot with them both. I also recall many of the plot lines for Scrubs were based heavily off letters docs would send in of their own experiences. My dad had a few he wanted to send in. They also love Call the Midwife which my mom says is very accurate both medically and historically, in that the procedures accurately reflect what protocols were at the time. My grandma agrees as well, also a nurse. Scrubs was pretty good of getting into the mindset of healthcare providers. Had some deep topics covered up in humor. The nuts and bolts of medicine they do whatever looks best for the camera, not what actually happens. Impossible to see a medical based show or even seen in a movie without seeing an error. Think how they display coding hacking in movies or even just using a computer. Total disconnect. Some common errors. Shocking asystole, when the heart rhythm goes and flatlines. Never happens. Bags of IV fluid that have red writing on the plastic. In real life would be running potassium chloride which would kill them instead. Hence the red writing to help avoid med errors. Medications having this weird color. No we don't inject Kool-Aid looking crap into people's veins. Using a big ass metal syringe or more what looks like a dental driver. Holds ampoules of anesthesia used in dental procedures. Rather than just a plain old boring syringe. Most hospitals have gone away from using needle based systems and instead use a lure lock. Female male connection, that you attach to a port, using those big cheese sandwich making paddles when they go to shock someone. Too flipping dangerous, see them on devices that would be old enough to vote if they were alive. We use these big sticky pads that attach, then cam use hands free. Scenes where the whole freaking family rides in back of the ambulance and they don't treat, or even seem competent, annoying as frick to watch. When they wheel people around on a stretcher that has no sheets on, they do doolin in at hospitals, having people improperly strapped on a spine board, or showing improper use of neck collars. Most places have gone away from using backboards and collars are either already out or on their way out of use. Medication is usually pretty accurate. When I glance over and someone's rushed in with whatever ailment I'll annoy my wife by saying what they are going to prescribe. I get told off because although it's a medical drama, the medication is irrelevant to the story so I should just shut the frick up. I'm not bitter. 
I took an acting class once, and we did a scene from an early version of a Grey's Anatomy script. They hadn't figured out yet what would be wrong with the patient. The whole script was written with empty spots for doctorly crap. Hey intern holder, medical. While I do, medical no no, not like that you have to, medical, or heal, medical. Nurse here, they drive me crazy, I see safety violations, wrong procedures drugs act, doctors hardly have any patient interaction in the real world, so when I see a medical show where the MD takes vitals and gets a blood sample followed by taking the patient to get a CT scan, I roll. I work in radiology. I absolutely cannot stand scenes where people are getting a MRI. On TV they'll turn the machine on and I've even seen comedy scenes where something will accidentally be left in the room and go flying towards the machine. Never mind how freaking dangerous that is. That's an entirely different issue. A MRI machine is always on. Once it is installed and running you don't want it turned off for any reason unless it's for an emergency or repairs. Because of the process it takes to turn back on it costs multiple thousands of dollars and lots of time. Oh and I hated how in house the doctors did all the work for nurses and other allied health professionals. So ridiculous. I worked in an and find most medical shows inaccurate. Especially Grey's. So much drama in every episode. Most nights in the air with things like flu, broken arm, stitches, kidney stones, and a lot of elderly patients with altered mental status. Scrubs was more accurate, but still soap why. Most of the docs I've worked with are pretty experienced and jaded. They don't get attached to patients or remember them. Nurses start IVs and draw blood. CNAs clean up and run crap to the lab. Literally, not every code can be shocked. The most glaring issue, according to my wife who is a nurse, is that in shows like House or Grey's Anatomy is that you always see doctors doing the work. You see them cleaning up blood, talking to the patients and performing the life-saving actions during a code. In real life the doctors never do this and it's the nurses 99% of the time. Doctors simply review medical history, create a diagnosis and plan and have the nurses do everything else. Most of the time a patient will never even meet their doctor. House is the worst at this, since they don't even have any nurses on the show. It would be incredibly more realistic to have all of the doctors under house actually be nurses and it would become much more accurate. I've always loved how they get their diagnostics and results back within minutes. In the Canadian healthcare system it can take weeks to get x-rays read. It takes 5 minutes to get the reporting done. Most hospitals just let it sit for days. First time I watched Grey's Anatomy the doctor put the stethoscope on backwards and listened to a heartbeat. I did not watch the show after that. Both my parents and three aunts are doctors. They all agree that the most accurate medical show was a. In the other shows the doctors would end up getting fired. Both my mom and sister are RNs so I know a little offhand. Not very. A lot of it is played up for TV. Shocker. However they might get it right every now and again. One of the biggest ones of them messing up though is on Grey's Anatomy one of the nurses went to give a patient a 50ml dose of some painkiller and accidentally gave 500ml and knocked him out. They had to go into surgery to keep him alive. No, he's dead. The only thing accurate about those shows is how everyone is constantly fricking everyone else. Working in a teaching hospital is like an adult version of high school where the place is ruled by the kids from beta club and the cheerleaders suddenly want to screw them. It's astonishing. Not at all. What they get wrong. Doctors spend a few minutes with each patient a shift. In general, they don't give injections or medications. Nurses and techs spend the most time with patients. Hospital floors rarely have exciting and varied illness. They are often old patients with unexotic conditions. Most of the floor will have the same. 10 diagnosis. Many patient cases would never meet admission criteria in these mystery and drama shows. They would be dealt with as outpatients. CPR codes are always all wrong. What these shows get right. Lots of hospital employees do date hookup. I feel as this happens in any workplace where people are together for 12 hours at a time doing a stressful job. Administrators are usually antagonistic towards clinic workers. Grace has some BS drama and medicine. Scrubs is less so, but if you are interested there is spot on medicine in almost every episode I've ever seen. Watching an episode of House. Woman admitted with bleeding. 2 says later they start talking about coagulation screen. 
It was abnormal. They search her house for toxins. Then do some liver function tests another two days later. They are abnormal. Descend into some drama about one of them freaking up the initial blood test. Which they didn't but they then discounted their results for 10 minutes allowing them woman to get a bit nearer dying. Eventually gets a scan. Shows cirrhosis. Blah blah more drama about her being an alcoholic. Someone hits house over the head with a copper frying pan. He thinks it might be Wilson's disease. It is. Real life version. Woman admitted with unexplained bleeding would get coagulation screen and liver function tests as routine by a junior doctor or even medical student. Consultant would see patient without these results. Order imaging. Shows the cirrhosis. Do more tests. Diagnose Wilson's disease. Depending on time of admission. This will take a few hours. My dad is a pharmacist and is annoyed that in every TV show hospital the pharmacy is a little window that people just walk up to. The pharmacy my dad works in is quite large. Unlike house, MD, 90% of patient problems is not going to be sarcoidosis. Doctors on TV are like hackers on TV. I find the technical stuff is hit or miss, as far as procedures and correct lingo and mumbo jumbo. I've watched scrubs, house, Grey's Anatomy, and some older stuff like Emergency. Sometimes they get a lot right, but sometimes they also get a lot wrong. Even though the algorithms and protocols are outdated, Emergency is one of the most accurate medical related shows I've watched. A lot of the drama is obviously embellished, and the characters rarely reflect realistic people. For instance, a doctor like House isn't going to last very long without losing his job or getting the crap suit out of him in real life. In recent years patients rights have become a huge issue as well as informed consent, and most hospitals are all about quality assurance and public image, as well as covering their asses. A doc like house sneaking into patients homes to make a diagnosis, doing things without the patient's consent, and more or less acting like a free agent and saying what we want is wholly unrealistic, at least in the sense that he does all that and keeps his job license income. Also, in real life. Most medical professionals rarely treat emergencies like they do in the show's movies. As an EMT and rescue volunteer we rarely find ourselves sprinting around and driving fast and getting all hyper when we get a call. The people that get super excited and treat everything like that big life changing TV moment burn out quick when they realize most of the time it's BS and not a real emergency. And lastly, the patients. In modern medicine the broad majority of patients that you interact with are old people with chronic conditions that are at times just artificially alive. I'd say at least 70% of the people I work with are old folks with COPD or cancer. I get called out to a lot grannies that are having trouble breathing and grandpas that suddenly don't feel so good in their tummy. The exciting car wrecks and trauma and cardiac arrests happen, but rarely, and it's hardly ever young attractive people. Almost all medically inclined shows shock a sisterly and I have absolutely nothing idea why. Like, seriously, some people who have their CPR cards think that shocking a sisterly is actually what you do. I'm an EMT basic at this time but I'm halfway through paramedic school and the amount of people that come from EMT basic even to help out on our department are shocked. Haha, <laughs> to find out that a sisterly isn't actually fixed with electricity. Just a thought I guess. Nurse here. Medical shows are fun but often pee me off. Especially when they show CPR and resuscitation incorrectly. If I had my way, there would be a law that all TV medical professionals had to depict accurate CPR. Since it's the only exposure most people have to it, it drives me nuts seeing TV doctors going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then giving a breath. Hard and fast. People. Hard and fast. And you don't shock a flatline. It also bothers me the way nurses are portrayed on screen. In shows like House, the docs do everything for patients. Draw blood, hang medications, change dressings. Nurses are the eyes, ears, hands and feet for the docs. Doctors do very little direct patient care IRL. I once had to show one of our docs how to give a medication that was against policy for nurses to give on our unit. She had no idea how the syringe connected to the IV. Also, we barely have time to pee let alone shag some doctor hottie in a supply closet. We show up, we take care of your crap, literally, and if we're lucky, get to go home after putting in a full shift. 
My mom is a doctor and she stopped watching Grey's Anatomy after the whole fiasco with the homemade c-section. She said it was completely impossible for that woman to survive. But she really likes house. You mean the shows where their profession is secondary to every goddamn character hooking up with every other character? I work at a hospital in IT. Scrubs is the most accurate people having a generally good time and saving a life or two here and there. I think an IT crowd type show in a hospital setting would be good. I'm a RN. Most of them are highly inaccurate. I've watched every episode of House. Love the show. But, Doctor, House would have lost his medical license in season 1. It's the most unrealistic of all the medical shows. Doctors order things to be done. Lab work, administer meds, treatments etc. They don't do them themselves. Then can we even mention the illegal activity and drug use? A nurse would have reported him to the medical board. I've seen every episode of a 2. Loved that show. I thought it was more realistic of the bunch. At least they tried and like house. On regular shows with a medical scene you seem to get a lot of inaccuracies. Like they show a newborn who's stable with a heart rate of 70 BPM on the monitor, which is too low and a serious emergency in real life. Or they'll show a doctor giving a shock to a patient who is coding, when the monitor shows us at all. Again, not possible. Then the medications that are given during codes. The dosage is shouted out so so wrong. Not a medical professional, but I volunteer in a hospital and one of my close friends is in a resident. Generally, Scrubs is the show that most accurately portrays the environment. Grey's Anatomy is not supposed to be accurate at all. Nothing like real life. Errs in the OC East Coast tends to be a lot of mildly moderately ill patients with the occasional trauma cardiac case that gets the blood pumping. It's a epinephrine junkers purgatory to be stuck treating gastritis after gastritis. Plus, it's usually too busy to ban to make witty remarks crack jokes. They're not very realistic. Not every trauma case involves throwing up blood, or coding as often. In addition, nobody ever hooks up in on call rooms and the doctors are rarely that young. Medical professionals also would never self-prescribe medication or tests like house does, and they are mostly very civil towards each other. In my limited experience, hospitals and emergency rooms are already pretty negative places so any negative emotions with the stuff spread like wildfire, so they try to keep it to a minimum. Scrubs is fairly realistic. House and Grey's Anatomy, not terribly. You have been visited by the doggo of dandy rides like this video and have a dandy day. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.